Okay, Louisiana Beer Reviews. What's it called? Zavich. Yeah, Zavich. Zavich Lager Beer was introduced in 1856 in Zebush, Poland. And actually, it was Zebush, Austria, the Empire of Austria. And the Austrians ruled that city until 1918 when they, their empire collapsed after World War One, And the Poles took it over and it was renamed Zavich. Okay, it has two people dancing the Krakowiev, the Krakowiak, the Krakowiak dance, the famous Polish dance. Krakow is a city, very, a big city close to Zawich. Okay, it's famous worldwide, they say. It's 5.6% uh, alcohol, it's the most popular beer in Poland. And the uh, Habsburg royal family owned this brewery until World War II ended in 1946. Of 45 and in 46 the communist government of Poland seized the brewery from them they sued the government of Poland after the communists got thrown out in the 1990s the government settled with them and then Heineken acquired this company so it's a Heineken oh. company yep. okay where did you find it I found it at uh, at Montgomery Plaza liquor store in Catonsville pull that from please Catonsville Maryland <laughs> during July of 2013. It gets an okay score on Beer Advocate. The bros say poor. A 15 out of 100 on Rape Beer. But here's the interesting thing. A 91 out of 100 for the style. European Pale Lager. So what is that telling you? They don't really like the style. But okay. in the style, it's very highly rated. Okay. Okay. Made a nice hiss. The last I one I did it. was poorly rated and I liked it. Right. So. It's got a lot of smoke coming out, as you can see. It's going to be a Pale Lager. Okay, it's, it's in a brown bottle, so you don't have to worry about getting skunked. You know, when you get the green bottle, sometimes it'll get skunked because the light penetrates it and spoils the hops. Mm -hmm. And if it's a clear bottle, it's even more likely to get skunked. That's why they use brown. It protects it from the, the sun or, or, you know, lights in a store. Anyway, a thick white head, would have been thicker on a bigger glass, but right. a thick white head and a clear, very bubbly, what's that appearance, straw appearance? Kind of like the color of straw yeah. in a barn. Yeah. Let's check out the aroma on the Zavich. Zavich. You, you love saying that. You know, because I had so much, so much trouble learning how to pronounce it. The only way I really found out was I watched some commercials for Zavich. Mm. Polish commercials. Because I saw people saying all kinds of stuff, Zavich and all that, but I knew it could It wasn't that. It's Zavich. It's or in almost, German, Zavich. It smells almost buttery. It's really just kind of smooth and mild and... Well, there was a nice pungent grain aroma, that barley malt aroma. Barley has such a distinctive aroma. Buttery, yeah. And really just... Oh, man, it's just such a strong barley smell. It reminds me of when we were at the Anheuser-Busch Brewery last month. It, that whole brewery just had this smell floating everywhere around there. It that smells good. It doesn't, readiness. Yeah, it doesn't smell too sharp or like acidic or anything. It's, it smells like someone baking, huh? Yeah, butter, bread. Buttered bread or yeah. something. Yeah. So the smell to me is an A+. Mm -hmm. It looks nice. So there's an A on the looks, an A on the smell. Let's check out the taste, huh? picking up two things and then you can tell me what you think I'm picking up bready barley malt you now that barley malt just has that grain flavor but it's a distinctive grain it's hard to describe unless you try it and then it's got the hops that bitterness yeah I agree I was gonna say this, uh, the same thing about the breadiness like a, like a slice of like wheat bread or something so it reminds me of and you get the sharp bitter hops mm -hmm. but they're not overly no bitter. no this is really good it's very mild very balanced. Now how does this compare to what they drank at the University of New Orleans social events like uh, Keystone Light and Pabst Blue Ribbon? Well, to be fair, most of my friends don't drink Keystone Light. They like a little, a little beer, a little, little flavored beers, you know, like the Wild Blue, which is, which is oh, good. Okay, they like, they like the flavored beers, but I know that's becoming very popular. Yeah. And they like the um, Lots Pabst, of Pabst. Pabst Blue Ribbon. How does this hold up against Pabst Blue Ribbon? I think it's better. Yeah, now Paps, 
they use barley milk. Of course, they use water, <laughs> naturally. But they also add corn syrup as a filler, you know. And, and a you, lot of companies do that. And you can tell, because when you drink something like that, it's almost like, like kind of heavy. Like, you start feeling like, I don't know, but this... It's like on the bottle they said it's made with like mountain spring water. It does. It tastes really refreshing. Yeah, it comes like, from the mountain area of Poland. Southern Poland is mountainous. Like I was actually really thirsty, and this is just really refreshing right now. It's light and watery in the mouthfeel. You want mm -hmm. more of this? Or mm -hmm. It's light and watery in the mouth. Let's switch it around and see if there's any sediment. Oh, I got a hand biting my foot. Hold on. Light and watery in the mouthfeel, and the finish is pretty crisp. It's clean, you know, with that mountain spring yeah. water. The more I'm drinking it, there's a lot the, there's a lot of bitter aftertaste. Yeah. There's a lot of bite in the aftertaste, but actually drinking it isn't too, like, whoa. If you don't like bitter beer, you're not going to like mm -hmm. it. But it's it's very popular in Poland. Those people drink this like water. But this isn't like a like a stout, like like a Guinness or anything. Oh, well, it's not no, as that's bitter a, as... That's a totally different type of beer. Well, I'm saying. This is a light-bodied lager beer. Lager means cellared. Back in, they, they invented that in that part of Europe, in Central Europe, and the German-ruled German areas, and they would take the beer, and it's bottom fermented, that means the yeast ferments at the bottom. They brew it at colder temperatures, and they would put it down in cellars for months, mm -hmm. and age it. Mm -hmm. It's lager, it's aged in a cellar. So it's, that's, and lager is the most popular beer in the United States, except in America, it's more common to add the rice or the corn in Europe. They usually don't add the rice. Wait, you wouldn't call like Coors or something a lager? Yes, Coors is an American style lager. Oh. Which means it's cellared in aging tanks mm. in a cold, cold room for months. Okay. Or about 30 days. I yeah. think of a lager, I think of something kind of flavorful and good. There's so many different types of <laughs> lagers. Uh, Bud Light is a lager. Um, <laughs> no. There's two main types of beer ale, which is brewed at warmer temperatures with hot fermenting yeast. And that doesn't appeal to a whole lot of, it does appeal to people, but, you know, lagers are much more popular in the world these days. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Guinness is an ale. A stout mm -hmm. ale. Well, malt liquor. With malt liquor is a lager. Okay. Mm -hmm. Subcategory. Yeah, what happened is in the 1940s, they wanted to come out with stronger beers, mm -hmm. but the United States government doesn't, or used to not allow beer to be sold at a high alcohol yeah, so percentage. They had to call it milk. So what they did was they just made strong beer and they made up a name called malt liquor. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, just, it's no different than beer. In Canada and in the United Kingdom and Australia, they don't have such a term as malt liquor. All they'll say is like, here it's be Schlitz malt liquor. Mm -hmm. Across the border in Canada, it's Schlitz extra strong beer. Oh, okay. I was wondering if it was its own category yeah, no. or something. Malt liquor is simply a type of lager. So how mm -hmm. would you rate this? Um, uh, oh, it's very carbonated. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I get yeah. It's very carbonated. I give it an A. You know, maybe an A minus. Yeah, I'm gonna go because it's not ex like spectacular, but you know, well, okay, A minus. Well, I'm gonna say A because to me it is spectacular. I think it's great. Um, I don't care if it's a mass-produced beer. I think they do a great job with it. Um, I'm sure they were doing a great job before Heineken acquired it, but I find Heineken is really exacting. Like their their standards are like ten points. So. I think it's terrific. They also have good commercials. Yeah, and they have good commercials. So, yeah. I, <laughs> if anybody asked me about Zavich, I would say go get some. If anybody happened to bring that up. Right, I'd say <laughs> run and get it. You'll love it if you like lager beer, and I do, and I think it's terrific. And I, I would absolutely buy it again. So, if, if you could find it again. So A minus an A, that averages to an A. Excellent. Yeah, I don't, I'm going to look around the walls and see if I can find this. So, Les Les Bon Ton Roulet, this is it. An excellent beer. I love it. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come, come on. Y'all come down to New Orleans. Y'all come on down to New Orleans <laughs> and Southeastern Louisiana.